I got it wrong and you want to fill in 1280 by 720 in order to stream with 720p. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new OBS tutorial. It's Tuesday, it means the first video of today actually guys. It's, you know, it's 3.30, so that means the first OBS tutorial. And today guys, I am going to show you guys the best settings for 720p streaming with low internet speed. So let's say you have like a really low internet speed, like, I don't know, like, you know, what, 1.5 or 2. I'm going to show you guys the best settings for that, uh, how you can still stream at 720p. I have to mention though, the minimum internet speed you need to have is 2.5. I'm just going through the settings, so basically that I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we're in OBS and the first thing you want to do in order to make this, you know, work is if you want to stream on 720p, the first thing is you want to go to speedtest.net and do a speed test and you want to keep in mind your upload speed because your ping and your download speed doesn't matter. Uh, you want to just keep in mind your, uh, your upload speed because that is gonna, you know, uh, choose the quality. First of all, go ahead and go to speedtest.net, do a speed test and keep in mind your upload speed. So we're gonna skip this process because you can do it like right away. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best settings. So if you if you have done everything, you don't wanna do anything in OBS, so you're gonna, you wanna go to the estimator website because that website will give you the exact numbers you need to fill in to get a, like a nice quality stream. Um, they would like the recommended settings. So I'm just gonna go to the estimator page. It's on the screen and also in the description. So let's get the settings from there. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're on the website. And first of all, guys, you wanna pick your CPU. So I have like i7. I don't know if it's like the second, the third or the fourth generation. I've no freaking clues i'm just gonna pick this one like i have an i7 the graphics card you want i'm gonna pick this one because i have the amd radeon r9 255 so it's r9 or higher uh, you can choose what, what what kind of you have like a like a geforce nvidia i don't know how how much you have you can choose your graphics card right here then what games are you gonna stream well there's a difference between minecraft and battlefield so it actually it's a pretty big difference so, but i'm gonna pick high motion here you want to fill in your upload speed so let's say your upload speed is 2.5 you want to fill in 2,500. That's so same with this. If your upload speed is 3.4, you want to fill in 3,400. If your upload speed is 4.7, you want to fill in 4,700. That is basically how simple this. So let's pick, you know, for example, I'm going to pick 3.2. Fill in this one. Boom. The minimum upload speed you need to have to stream in, in 1080p is uh, 2.5 so everything below that you're gonna you're not gonna be able to stream that in in 1080p so the upload speed the minimum you need to have is 2.5 anything above that is just great for example i'm gonna pick it like 3.2 then you want to choose resolution of your monitor which is you know in my case and like most cases is like 920 by 1080 and then we're gonna click on recommended settings and boom as you guys can see at the right we have all the settings so first of all the cpu advice is set the fps to 30 consider setting fps to 60 with a resolution downscale if you have spare cpu power to, uh, for improved motion quality that's pretty logic try to aim for the highest bitrate possible for high motion games use game capture if possible for maximum performance use window capture for hour enabled if game capture is unavailable that is what i would recommend too then the network advice those are your things you will need to fill in in obs so as you guys can see your upload speed is subject for 720p or 1080p enable cfr for compatibility with streaming services enable cbr for improved stream stability and then those recommended max bitrate is 2800 so you want to fill in that in OBS. We're going to go back to OBS. And we're going to go to settings, settings. And you want to go to the encoding tab. And as you guys saw, we want to fill in 2800, 2800, like in both, you know, boxes. You want to enable CBR, of course. And you also want to check this one because otherwise you won't be able to put in a custom buffer size. So that you're set on the encoding part. Let's go into the broadcast settings. And here you want to pick your activity. In my case, is live stream. Uh, streaming service is YouTube, but you can like pick like Twitch. And, you know, you want to choose like the one, you know, the fms url we want to pick the closest one to you the stream key you can find that one in your dashboard of twitch so you can find your stream key there so let's say you want to stream on youtube you can also find your stream key uh while you're setting up the live event on youtube pretty simple and you want to use like the primary youtube ingest server and then auto reconnect if you lose connection it will automatically reconnect after like three seconds i would put that on three and delay on zero because we don't want like that much of a delay you're like set on the broadcast settings let's go to the video tab okay so i got it wrong and you want to fill in 1280 by 720 to in, in order to stream with 720p.
my bad. And here you can choose your FPS. Well, they recommend to setting it to 60 or 30. Well, you can choose what you want to do. You can choose to stream on, well, stream on 30 FPS, 50 FPS, also 60. I would recommend 60. That's what I use as well. And then basically you are set on the video tab. So let's go to the audio tab. And here you can choose your speaker. So we want to pick, you want to make sure that you pick the right one in this list because otherwise OBS wouldn't be able to hear what you were hearing through your headset. And then you want to pick a microphone, which my, in, in, in my case, it's the Samsung CL1U Pro microphone. I'm going to pick this one. Here you can boost your desktop uh, sound like let's say if your desktop is you know sound is really uh, like low you can boost it up i have my mic boost on too because that works best for me and then i keep this on 200 keep this on zero for hotkeys you don't want to you know do anything you can choose like to ch choose hotkeys but this is not going to do anything to the quality and then advanced you just want to keep everything how it is right here and then basically you have set everything and now you are ready to live stream at 720p it's that simple so those are the settings guys i know it's really simple and i hope you guys enjoyed it and, and you can go ahead and go streaming 720p now so if this video was helpful to you make sure to smash the like button also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for more videos and i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support i'll see you guys in two hours when i'm going to show you guys like how to stream in 1080p on low internet speed keep an eye out on my channel for, for in about two hours and i will see you guys in a bit <sighs> I'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LDHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall. It's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Feature your comment or your question. And I'll see you guys in the next video.